that was seven weeks ago in Washington. I sat in meeting after meeting after meeting, hearing all the concerns of our society. Some were appointed by the president, the secretary of labor, governors from states. I, I sat in meetings for people that were responsible for how to figure out how to spend 18 billion dollars, not million, 18 billion dollars. And they're going, is there a partner out there? We got all these issues with, with our society. Is there a partner? And they're looking to business that doesn't have the answer. Incredible people, the business isn't the answer. They're looking at education systems. We need a partner. They're looking at government agencies. We need a partner. I sat for there in days and days and days on hundreds of people. But the Christian church doesn't have a voice because we've divided ourselves to a place of insignificance. And you know what? It's not the fault of society. It's not the devil's fault. It's not people. It's the church. We're supposed to be a city set on a hill that they can see us. At best right now, church, we're under a bushel basket. Society doesn't think we're even there to ask a question. It's not that we're there and we're not heard. We're not even a thought in their mind of even asking the church to help. You look back at the history of this nation and what the, the Christian impact and the church's impact and the Bible's impact, it was incredible. I can't even describe how, how inter, intertwined it was in our past. I think God is looking for a generation that reads this Bible and does what it says. And if Jesus prayed three times for us to be one body, what are we waiting for? People hear about uniting the church, and the first thing they think is, man, it's just, it's not possible, it's not possible. Does the Bible say we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength? It does. And that question, do we believe that God desires his church to be one? I believe it's yes. But just because God desires something doesn't mean it's going to happen. I believe we have a choice. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm not ashamed to ask every single Christian I know to help us reunite the church back into one body.